Whatever, Stevie. Just keep walking. Don't come back. I got a game in here. He says he's taking a Facebook hire this soon. I ain't got no veggie for today. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna show how stacked in Guinea is. And if anybody has any trucks and knows how to haul logs, <laughs> we could probably use your services. We've got that stack back there, all this. And I'm eating my breakfast. Look at that. Mmm. So have to come bear with me here. I know I ain't been doing good bitches lately. I'm bit, we're busier than a cat covering up shit right now. Yeah, you better keep going. <laughs> TV. We come out with the den den like the second day. I had to move all these logs out, out of a reach. It sucks having a knuckle boom that don't walk around. Like talk, Cotton Top goes on about, that is a big deal having a loader that can walk around. But with the den den, it, it's pretty good little assistant to... Big Guinea's loader, you know what I mean? So I just track out the woods once in a while. Well, I tracked out the woods the second day and moved all our logs out of the way for her and spruced up her chunks a little bit because this is a daggone hayfield. We're trying to keep low impact here. But there's what she's got going on. Here's some stack piles we come up with. And Stevie and Roger. They're going to both have to skid for about, oh, uh, I'd say two hours. Not two, what am I saying? Back on it. They're probably both going to have to skid for like five hours to get all the wood. There's that much back there to skid up yet with two skidders. Be about five hours of skidding to get it all pulled up here. And here's the big log we're on either. I might blow it. I might do some dynamite blow or dynamite. I might do some uh, uh, tannerite. No, might do some gunpowder. Anybody that's used to doing this, problem I had when I tried to blow logs is my damn gunpowder would get wet, and I would uh, it would just you know it wouldn't be enough to blow it. But I get once in a while get a charge and stay dry and it blow good. And I'm thinking about, here's what I'm asking everybody, anybody that knows. If you don't know, don't answer me. Send me in the wrong way or longer ways we're missing his head or something. But if you know what you're talking about, help me out. I, I think I can take a zip, like a sandwich Ziploc bag, do chainsaw cuts like I did before, and a, a wooden stick and shove it down into the gunpowder down inside the little piece in a saw curve in a sandwich bag, you know, and run my wick into my sandwich bag, you know, and... <laughs> keep it dry that way I thought about trying that if anybody thinks that might work and then running my you know my fuse out but we got on the honey hole there's a, the honey the candy bow poplar on this job it was full term that son of a buck was about these trees was fully matured for this ground area and there's some ash cherry and walnut now I can't walk back here because I'm trucking today by the time I get back unless you got me most of the way loaded now where we at 415 we almost got a bid you this farm we're on is a real neat farm it's a 2,000 acre farm and uh, the real high class people down here in Kentucky that uh, owns this farm and operates this farm. There's some fancy horse stuff going on here. There, it's a fancy pants place we're working at. And we're trying to do a really good job of logging. We kind of got, uh, uh, we kind of got to come, kind of, you know, we kind of got the opportunity because we try to carry ourselves properly, but so we're trying not to screw up. You know, we're trying to do a good job for these people. 
So we got rain coming in. Rock or second truck load of rock on the road there yesterday. Man, Denny's got her stack going. And Rod and Stevie, they're getting rolling this morning. We got, sorry, I'm eating. I got a big pile of wood back on their side, tree line back there. Stubbed up. I'd say there's, I'd say they got at least six semi loads to bring out to add to this pile. There's probably six more semi loads they got to bring out this evening. Maybe more. No, I think six would catch it. There might be more than six, but I'd say six would catch it. But they're gonna bring out, we're gonna haul eight today, so by the time this day's all done, they should have most of the stockpiles worked up to where they could stack the boom in real good. So if we get rain and we can't move wood, it, it clears up, on this job, it clears up for trucking quicker than it clears up for logging. Or just mostly through this area. We could go back on the fresh ground back there and log at the same time we're trucking, but we can't skid through the highway here because we got to get it, you know, it takes longer to heal this ground. But we'll have to stomp it all in and get it ready for drainage this evening. But, uh, well, I better get out of her way. She's back to whacking the stack. Okay, here's the farm. It's pretty dang on cool. Again, I'm going to grab another gear with the old wiener wagon here. Stevie calls it white lightning. I refuse to call it white lightning. I think it's the wiener wagon. <laughs> oh, Steve. Wacky's in the daggone shop. It had a bearing. The input bearing going into the power divider. It was loose. Yes, I know. We should have done it in-house. We're busy. I sent it up there. Probably was a cop-out. Probably should have did it because it took more effort take it up there and screw around and would have done the fixing ourselves but I just dust it out the gypsy but yeah we probably should have did it in the house but anyways long story short we're stuck in the wiener wagon Oscar Meyer wiener wagon Stevie proud to be an Oscar Meyer wiener Stevie and there's the other old boys they come in and pull their wood out but they're stacking and going to sell in like they logs but look at this Stevie Look at that fixer upper. Look at that. Nice. Boys, I get a hold of that and make a rat rod out of that. That is a nice looking rod right there. Man, if God make a rat rod out of that, it'd be cool as hell. Put a daggone 3412 cat in. <laughs> Take the whole front end off and put a 3412 cat in. Just sitting out there in the open. Well, they got a radiator set in front of it with two stacks going up, Stevie. Well, you can sell us that off that big chipper and I put that in that truck right there. That's old boy down there working on trails. But they got their hay barn. They got a bunch of neat stuff going on here. And they, they do a bunch of cool stuff. And they got the uh, bamboo siding on this hay barn there. I thought that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just different. They ain't on in there equipment shed and they got bamboo around their fuel dock and stuff and look at the tall windows on the side of the barn that's kind of a tobacco those of you ain't around the area that's kind of a tobacco Kentucky tobacco thing that they do it just kind of uh, I think it's kind of a just a remembrance of the uh, tobacco type of stuff I don't know I, I, that ain't a working tobacco barn I don't think I, I don't think they can pull them windows out but maybe they can and here's the entrance. Imagine getting this thing with the daggone detach. I brought that sucker in. I said, I was hollering up to Roger. I said, hey, Rogers, how much room I got up here? Oh, you got plenty. He said, I got up here and I jacked and jacked and jacked to get that daggone dent in in here. They even got a roller. Got an old hay rake. And then across there, they got a bunch of horsey stuff over there and all the fancies over there. They even got like a housing, like a fancy housing development on this thing. They got all kinds of stuff going on this property. It's neat as hell. I'll take y'all down here and show you around a little bit. Oh yeah. Come on, wiener wagon. Yeah, baby, let's do some jake break shit. Come on, dang. Oh yeah, wiener 
wagon. That's just like them Canadian truckers. See, we're high core. High core, hardcore. Hardcore, high class wiener wagon drivers. Oh, baby. So on this other side over here, they got like a horse riding areas. I think, I don't know, I don't know how it works, and I don't ask, because these are high class people. They don't want me to hear me open my mouth. My mouth. You know, God knows when you need to keep the mouth shut. Well, I'll struggle with that, but most of the time when a guy needs to keep the mouth shut, I can catch on to that. But anyways, they got horse riding. They ride all the horsey trails and stuff up there, and they got horsey trails up in here. See, the, the trails back in there, they ride all the leaves are coming on. It's hard to see now. But they ride these horses all over the place in this thing. And these probably ain't your average horses. These are probably high caliber horses. Probably, these are like thoroughbred horses. I don't know. They don't call horses to talk about being thoroughbred. Shut this phone off. It's illegal. Later, taters! 